Okay, we have just finished setting up in Robot C. And so far, all Robot C knows is that we're talking to a VEX Cortex using the language natural language PLTW. We have to tell the computer and Robot C what components we have plugged into the Cortex. So in order to do that, we need to open a new file. This is what our new file looks like. We have our function library here. Our program will be here in this main area. And down at the bottom, we have our compiler, which can also show other things. Um, and I'll talk about that later. To tell Robot C what we have set up, we need to select this big button here that says motor and sensor setup. This is going to bring us to a window that has many different tabs standard models, motors, VEX 2.0 analog sensors, showing all eight of our analog sensors ports, VEX Cortex digital sensors 1 through 12. So we, know, we don't use our motor port 1 because it's a different size for a motor that we don't have. We will be using motor port 2. We can call this right motor. That's lowercase r-i-g-h-t and a capital M, no spaces, o-t-o-r. Careful with your spelling and letter case. Then underneath the type, we need to select the type. We have a VEX 393 motor. You can see that stamped on the back of your motors. We might also have a second motor. We'll type left motor for this one and select VEX 393 motor for that as well. Now we've told our Cortex, or we've told Robot C that in our Cortex we have a right motor plugged into motor port 2, and we have a left motor plugged into motor port 3. Let's take a look at our analog sensors. Our analog sensors, our first analog sensor is our line tracker. I'm going to put line tracker and where it says sensor type, it is a line follower. Input two, we have our potentiometer. Potentiometer, P-O-T-E-N-T-I-O-M-E-T-E-R. Sorry, potentiometer, yep. And no sensor, it is a potentiometer. All right. Under VEX Cortex Digital Sensors, we have three different sensors we need to add in here. Our digital one is going to be our limit switch, L-I-M-I-T, capital S, W-I-T-C-H. And that is going to be a touch sensor. Digital two is going to be our bump switch, B-U-M-P, capital S, W-I-T-C-H. And that is also a touch sensor. In digital 12, we have an LED. Whatever color your LED happens to be, you can type in the color and put in that it is a VEX LED. Then you apply those and click OK. And you'll see a pragma statement appear. All this is what you have told Robot C that you've plugged into your Cortex. And you can kind of read it. We've configured that the sensor plugged into analog one is called line tracker and that it is a sensor line follower. We have told the computer that the sensor that we've plugged into analog input two is a potentiometer and that is a sensor of the potentiometer. We've configured the digital one and digital two as limit switch and bump switch. Both of those are touch sensors. We've also configured that the sensor in digital 12 is called red and it is a LED. And then here's our motors. We've configured motor in port two and three called right and left motor and that they are T motor VEX 393 MC29. MC29 stands for motor controller 29. So you need to make sure that you have these right and the spelling does matter, uppercase and lowercase does matter, and spaces 
do matter. So please make sure you type carefully because anything you have in your pragma statements needs to match what's in your code. Otherwise the computer will be confused.